So we're gonna be talking about three ways to maximize your morning routine. Uh, I am a huge fan of having a morning routine, you know, and I saw a couple of other uh, consultants, I guess, uh, you know, gurus uh, out there talking about their dislike of a morning routine. Uh, and as it turned out, they didn't necessarily not like a morning routine. They, let, they let, didn't like having someone else's morning routine. Um, and I completely agree with that. I've tried so many morning routines over the years. I, I hear something from somebody. I try to I try to force something into my morning routine, uh, and it really ends up backfiring on me. So I'm not a big fan of saying, here is the perfect morning routine. Uh, there's somebody out selling something right now. It's like the miracle morning or something like that. And I, Not that I disagree with anything that they have in there. It's just somebody taking that rhetoric. It's the same way with my coaching. Uh, you know, I see all the other coaches out there saying, hey, here's the way to practice. Uh, and if you practice this way, you'll be as successful as I was. And I've, I've just never find that to be true. Or I shouldn't say never. Seldom find that to be true. There's so many different ways to practice. And you, as a chiropractor, should practice the way you want to practice. The same thing goes for a morning routine. You've got to find what works for you. And it is completely trial and error that's going to have going to. Uh, make it happen. So I'm not going to tell you what to put in your routine. I'm going to tell you to create a morning routine and to figure out what you need to have in it. So I'm going to give you three essential ways to, to maximize your morning routine. And if you follow these tips, you're going to find yourself much more productive throughout the entire day. Uh, and again, you're going to find a morning routine that works for you. Very important part of your morning routine, something that you have to get done in the morning that just makes you feel like you've accomplished something during the day um, or just kind of gives you more motivation with going through your day. So put that in the comments down below. For most people, when they wake up, they switch immediately into reactive mode. They aren't making a plan for the day. Again, I know I have some motivated people on here uh, that, that this might sound foreign to you, but trust me, as many people as I talk to, uh, it's very common for people to be in reactive mode. They grab their phone, they check their email, their day's done. Uh, they're already in reactive mode. They're not examining their motivations. They're not making a plan for their day. Something just happens to them and they react. Uh, so again, they get out of bed or maybe they start some sort of a hygiene routine, uh, but as soon as they get out of the shower, something happens to them, the kids, the family, the email, uh, and they simply react to it. And then their entire day is non-productive because it's all reactive. So if you follow even one small part of my advice today, you're going to be ahead of the game. Uh, you're going to make yourself proactive instead of reactive. The first and probably the most important step of a morning routine is to standardize your wake-up time. And for a long time, I resisted this step. Uh, actually, I've had several waves in my life where I resist this step. I like to sleep. I mean, who doesn't like to sleep? So, I mean, there's a time when you're setting up a morning routine that you have to set that alarm or you have to kind of get consistent. Um, and it's tough because I like to sleep in. Uh, I occasionally enjoy that uh, just sleeping until there's no alarm. But I didn't realize how much it was holding me back during those waves where I was a little less productive. I had a little shot this summer. Uh, again, with the kids, we just kind of got... I wouldn't say lazy, comfortable, uh, but you have to find that morning time. doesn't matter what it is. It just has to be a time early enough to complete the routine that you put to. And you have to stick to it day in and day out. Now, after a while, you're going to find that you don't even need an alarm. Uh, your body's internal clock will obviously wake you up at just the right time. Uh, I, I mean, I can't even tell you how much waking up without an alarm blaring which obviously distracts you and kind of puts you in a, in a different mood. So once you get into that routine, not having to have that alarm blare uh, improves the rest of your day. One tip that I, I give my clients with that is kind of a little mental game you can play with yourself while you're falling asleep. Uh, if you simply, I would guess I would call it meditation, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a meditative state. It's just getting yourself relaxed I know a lot of us are running through things that went wrong in our day or, or, or I like to set an intention. So for me, when I go to bed and I lay down and I close my eyes and I take a few deep breaths and I relax, the first thing I tell myself is what time I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning. Uh, and it is powerful. So I put in my mind that you know I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. refreshed, relaxed, ready to start my day. Uh, and again, I'm in a relaxed state when I do this, somewhat meditative, just calm. It only takes me two, three minutes to get there. Uh, and then I go through what I want my day to accomplish. So let's not talk about that right now. But as far as waking up in the morning, 
just telling yourself, putting that thought in your subconscious before you fall asleep uh, makes a huge difference. Now, I still set an alarm, uh, but it's almost more uh, as a safety than anything else. I'm typically up two or three minutes before that alarm. Uh, sometimes I lay in bed, and again, my wife knows, so I let that alarm go off while I'm sitting there thinking about things. Uh, but very often I get up and I get there before it because of the attention that I set the night before. Um, so the only way to get there, to get to a point where you are waking up at a regular time, is to set that standard wake-up time. And then obviously get some sort of tip. I like to just reprogram my, my mind at night. The next step to finding a good morning routine, and this may seem like a giving, given uh, since I'm talking to you about morning routine, so obviously you want to find time for it. you got to figure out how much time you need and carve that time out. And this needs to be highlighted because a lot of us make excuses. You know, you, a lot of people tell me, hey, I just don't have any time in the morning. You know, I'm not a morning person or, or you know, things just happen. I react to so early in the morning that I, you know, I have to do this and I have to do that and I have children, uh, all these other things. You got to make that make the time, and this is important. You've got to take time for yourself. And when I talk about morning routines, especially when I talk about carving out time, I feel that it's it's critical to look at it like you're in an airplane and the airbags just deployed, or not the airbags, the oxygen mask just deployed. You know what do they tell you? Is that put on your mask first before you try to help somebody else? Because obviously, if you go to put on somebody else's uh, and you don't get enough oxygen and you pass out, you can't help either one of you. Uh, so put your mask on first. This morning routine is like that for me. If I don't have my morning routine uh, without the kids or the wife um, needing things from me, and I don't, I'm not able to take care of myself and get my, my mind in the right place, get my body in the right place, get my you know, journaling done, I'm not as good to them. I'm not as good for them. Uh, so I want to make sure that I take care of myself first. Uh, so I get up at five so that the kids get up right about now. Uh, and as soon as I'm done here, I'll go in there and take care of them. We'll get to that in a second. But you've got to figure out what you need to be the best you. And it, when you are the best you, you're going to be the best you for them. Obviously, as I'm talking to chiropractors, you're going to be the best you for patients. So this does not have to be a huge thing. Again, some of my clients saw my old morning routine. Like last year, I was doing two and a half hours uh, before I ever got in to, to take care of the kids. Now that I'm doing the show, uh, I've decided to simplify things, spend more time here with you, a little less there, but I need to get myself moving. I need to get myself motivated in the morning. But for you, if you're not doing any morning routine, at least I know you said you're having trouble with it, um, 15 minutes, all it takes. Really just 15 minutes to get up and, and do something for you. Before you get to the shower, before anything else, go into a, a room that you're all alone, uh, and whether it be a little bit of journaling, a little bit of meditation, a little bit of stretching, uh, one of those things, three, all three of those things for five minutes each, uh, whatever it is to set your intention for the day is going to make you a much better you. Now, as you start to enjoy it, what I find is that that will start to stretch into 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, we'll wake up a little bit earlier. Uh, but let the family know that I need my 15 minutes. As it gets into 30 minutes, uh, you know, and if you choose to work out, I think you're, a, you're an after work workout uh, lady. Um, but just grow it into something that works for you. you. You won't ever get it right the first time. As I said, this is a completely a trial and error process. Uh, again, I even fell off my routine a little bit in the summer simply because of the kids and, and schedules were off. Uh, and it's a matter of getting back into it. These past two weeks, uh, I've been changing little things as I go. You're like I really don't like doing that anymore. So uh, we change it. It doesn't have to be permanent. Uh, not everyone needs the same routine. And you don't need the same routine for the rest of your life. Uh, obviously, you should try a routine for a couple weeks before you change anything. And again, today, uh, you know, I've been processing for the last two days what I needed to change in order to get ready for the kids today uh, to make sure that we can ride our bikes and make them happy. Because that, we're talking about morning routine here, but I've also been talking about happiness, uh, that your goal should be happiness for the past couple weeks. And tomorrow, by the way, we do have a, a happiness show. So make sure you, st you stop by tomorrow for the happiness stuff. But I can tell you without a doubt, one of the things that's going to make me the most happy for the next couple months of all parts of my day is going to be riding my bike, riding bikes to school with the kids. So I will drop everything for that. I will change my morning routine to make sure that that happens and that happens as often as it possibly can. Um, my, I, my wife last night said, you're riding with us tomorrow, right? Uh, and my daughter, her face just lit up. Uh, and I looked at my wife, I'm like, how can you not go? But that's the, the look she gets every time she rides a bike. And she's so excited to be the one kid that rides her bike to school. Uh, I know we're going to be the different family, but 
my morning routine has changed because of that, because I, I need that happiness. Uh, so when I ride my bike to her and I get back here, it'll be about nine o'clock. That's when I'll start my day as far as productivity and work is concerned. Uh, and I have to get everything done before 7.15-ish. Uh, I say 7.15, it might be 7. Whenever I'm finished with the show, I head right back in there and start the rest of that routine. Uh, not everybody needs that you know, hour and a half or two hours like I used to in the morning to prepare for the rest of the day. I could get away with it because of what I do back last year, but again, it was probably more than I needed, uh, and I moved my workout time. Not everybody likes to bar exercise in the morning. I don't like to exercise in the morning anymore. I just like to get moving and get the body limbered up. So uh, if that's something you'd like to add to your routine, don't be discouraged. Uh, to, you can do it if you want to, but if you hate it, don't do it. Evolve and move on. Just find that little bit of time. All right, final tip uh, is to, this is kind of a mental one more. Um, final tip is to treat every day like it's, like it's a brand new day. To help yourself get the most out of your morning, it starts the night before, as I always talked about. Uh, so it starts with going to bed without anxiety. Uh, when you go to sleep, you've got to realize that that day is finished. So whether that day went well or that day went terrible, you got to try not to go to bed with, with any anxiousness or worry. I told you earlier that a lot of people you know, get into bed and they kind of toss and turn because they're thinking about things. And I'm saying calm yourself down. Do a little bit, three to five minutes of, of preparing yourself for tomorrow. Get rid of yesterday, that day that's been clouding your mind. Uh, and if you leave that in there and you wake up the next morning worried about what you worried about the night before, all the things that happened, you'll undoubtedly wake up the next day and it's going to slow you down. So think about every day as it being separate from the day before. Uh, let that day go. I, again, it, Dennis, you said you just got the five minute journal. I always, it's just here, so I talk about it a lot. Uh, the only, so writing some of that stuff down of what you could have done better allows you to release it. Um, you know, talking about all the great things helps you to focus on that. Uh, and again, if you do it right before bed, then you lay down and do a little bit of peaceful relaxation. Let some of that stuff go. Realize what you can do tomorrow uh, to make your day better. Uh, and then set your intention for what time you're going to wake up. And, and again, I go through it. Uh, this is about morning routine, not nighttime routine. But I do want to tell you, I go through my entire day. Like I, I go through my morning routine every night. So tomorrow I'm going to wake up. I'm going to spend 10 minutes doing this. I'm going to spend 15 minutes doing this. Um, you know, and I kind of nail all my points. And then I'm going to ride the kids to school. And, and I'm going to ride back. And I'm going to start this project. And, and I run through my whole entire day. And I can tell you, my whole entire day never goes as planned. But I typically get towards the middle of the afternoon before uh, something goes wrong with me. I'm able to plan those other days out. So uh, anyways, the point I'm trying to make is let that stuff go. Realize that tomorrow's a new day. When you wake up, realize that today's a new day and focus on getting as much done as you can today. Even if, if, you, even if yesterday went horribly wrong, uh, focus on getting that done. Um, and again, on the, on the times, even this summer, when my routine was a little bit off uh, for me, I was usually able to make up for it uh, because I'm so trained to have that good morning routine. Uh, but it does affect your day. Uh, if you don't get those few things done, I do have some things I'm a little OCD about. You can ask my wife, she's on there. Um, <laughs> so she'll, she'll tell you there's certain things that I have to have done a certain way. Uh, certain hygiene stuff, the way I shave my head, uh, certain the way I make my coffee, there's certain things that just exactly the same way every time. Uh, if you videotape me doing it 10 days in a row and overlaid them, they'd all look about the same. So uh, I'd like you all to start thinking about, again, that whether it's 50 minutes, whether it's 30 minutes, whether it's 45 minutes, that little bit of personal time uh, that you can get carved out of your day, make that morning routine, whether it includes exercise, whether it just includes planning for the day. Planning for the day should be a part of it. There's no question. Uh, even if it's just two or three minutes of writing down the things that you need to accomplish today in priority order, huge thing. So make it, making a morning routine from scratch takes a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of effort, some investment of your energy. It's not always easy, uh, but I promise you, it will make your life easier once you figure out what works for you. I know that I'm much more productive with my morning routine. Uh, you know, and I... I think anybody, when you get in your space, you don't know kind of where you compare. And I'm not really even in a place in my life trying to compare to anybody these days. But I do know how productive I am uh, compared to other coaches, other consultants, uh, the chiropractors that I talk to. I do know how much I get done in a day. And it seems very easy for me because of my morning routine. Uh, so again, I wouldn't look at it and say, oh, I'm so productive. But 
I really am comparatively. Um, and a lot, it all has to do with the fact that I get so much done in the morning, so much done when I'm fresh, that allows me in the afternoon to not have to worry. If my kids come in here and want to go for a bike ride, absolutely. I've got enough done at this point. Uh, I might have had a couple more things to get done, but I've produced a lot and I feel pretty good about it. So follow these tips that I just gave you. Uh, and again, we're going to be talking about morning routines quite a bit during this season. But follow these three tips and you'll be on your way to launching your productivity through the roof. Until then, enjoy your coffee.